In this short video, I'm just going to talk you through the new visual editor for the Divi page builder. Um, they've improved it quite a lot, made it a lot easier to manage your content uh, on your website if you've got already existing pages built with Divi. So I'm going to talk you through how it's used, how to edit the content in a very basic format, and also then how to save your pages. So here we have a development uh, website. There's only a single page on it, so I'm just going to click over here to edit it. Now, the first thing you notice, of course, you don't get the grid view that you've had before um, bec uh, because it is quite a different approach. So I know a number of people have been confused by this. So if your page um, or blog post has been built or constructed, laid out with the Divi Builder, that will tell you so here. And what we're going to do is going to click on this purple button right here to use the Divi Builder. Now what you see when that opens, it will bring up your page as it's been constructed. So here we have a pre-made layout that uh, we're in the process of uh, using for uh, a new client. And uh, you can see all the content items right there, what's been constructed, etc. Text, headings, images, background images, and so on. So what I'm going to do is just quickly talk you through editing a couple of items, starting with text. Now on any of the text modules, you can just literally type, click into it, and then just start typing. So I'm going to delete some of this. Um, this is a test. Okay, I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to make that little bit bold right there. Oh, yeah, I might as well make it italic while I'm at it. So, again, very, very quick way of editing. I uh, don't like Nottingham, and to be honest, no, no, that's not a trick. Uh, Nottingham's okay, but I want that to be Leicester. So, again, I'm editing while I'm on the page. You can see what it looks like as you're constructing it, as you're editing the, the text. As we go down a little bit, let's make that uh, 150. I um, don't like this image, so I'm going to change that. I'm just going to click on it up here on the little cog in the module settings. Click on the image right here. And select a slightly different one. So let's use that one. Click on the tick to save it. And there we have it. And so that's really as simple as it gets to editing content. Almost most, all of the text items you can just click on and you can edit while it's there on the uh, on the screen if you do need to uh, use uh, if you do need to format it for example you can click click over this on the module settings and you can then go into the module editor like this and you can change it as you would have done with your original module editor with the original Divi builder remember to click on the tick to save it once you've made all the changes you want you need to click on the purple button right down here at the bottom brings up a handful of options. Things you need, first of all, are the Save button, right over here, bottom right. So let's click on Save. That's all done. And then on the bottom left, if you really prefer to use the grid layout, it's called a wireframe, you would click on this, like so. And this is what you'll see. So your sections and rows are all laid out as you would see it. So you've got the section, the row, um, the modules. If you go down the page, you've got this particular section here. This row here is divided up into three different columns with image and text modules below it. So you can, if you prefer to work that way, it's fine. Personally, for just adjusting text and imagery, I'd, I'd like using the visual editor. And to go back to it, you click bottom left on this wireframe view and it takes you back to the visual editor. And there you have it. Or remember to save your, uh, save your things um, bottom right hand corner whenever you've made any changes. Um, but yeah, good luck. Remember that it's very difficult to break the software. You might, you might accidentally delete something. But if you host your website with us here at Buzz, then your website will be backed up on a very regular basis. Um, so it won't, most likely won't be lost forever. Um, I'll just quickly, quickly show you how to just um, paddings and margins, etc., by dragging and dropping. It enables you to really, really quickly edit your pages. So, yeah, don't be afraid to have a go. But remember, um, save your work. If you want to just muck about with it and don't save your work, you can do that for the sake of getting used to it. But good luck. Remember that we're here to help. If you need us, please give us a shout. Um, more than happy to come down and do a lot spot of training for you. Um, but or if you need a particular video creating on this particular topic, then let us know. So thanks very much for watching, and bye for now.